Hey, what's up guys? It's eGadgets for me. Uh, I have here a MacBook Air, 13.3 uh, inches. Uh, it belongs to one of my co-workers. It's the mid-2013 model. Um, she has issues powering up this laptop. Um, suddenly one day it turns off and it never turned back on. Um, we've tried pressing the power button a couple times, holding it down for 10-20 seconds. Still nothing um, will show up on the screen. Even while it's plugged in and pressing the power button multiple times, it still doesn't boot up. Uh, so what she did was she took it to the Genius Bar to get it diagnosed. And what they done was they did an SMC reset and that didn't uh, resolve the issue. They took it the battery out here and also plugged in the cable and it still wouldn't boot up. Um, so they diagnosed or um, they suggest that it might be the logic board in here that might be damaged and needs to be replaced. Um, so with that switched out and with the labor costs included, they estimated about $300. Um, so my coworker gave me this laptop in order to diagnose and see if I can come up with a better solution. And I've actually um, figured out the problem. Um, and that solution was also to do an SMC reset. Uh, what I've done was an, a, co a comprehensive version of that. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the regular method and the method I used. So in order to do an SMC reset, you're first going to have to have this cable, this charge, char charge cable plugged into the laptop. Um, if it's green, that means the battery is full. If it's amber, that means it is charging. If it's flashing, that means the battery in here is, is damaged. What you want to go for is either amber or green. Uh, as long as it's steady, we can do the SMC reset. Okay, so if you take a look at this um, LED light here located on the uh, little charger, um, it's green right now, so it indicates that it's full. Um, this test probably won't work if uh, your battery in here is full, so you might want to discharge the battery in here, um, just so when you plug in this cable, it's going to change an amber light, which means it's, it's signifying that it's going to be charging. So when you do the SMC reset, um, it's going to change color um, to reset itself, but if the battery is full, it's not going to be able to perform that test because it's just going to stay green to green. So what you want to do is have the battery a little bit under 100% when you're doing this test. So I'm going to go ahead and discharge that now and come back and uh, perform an SMC system management controller reset. Amber indicates that there is charge current coming from the AC to the unit, um, we're going to go ahead and do this. So hold down shift, control, option, power. Hold it down for about a couple seconds, like five seconds is fine. Go and let go. Uh, this amber light here will turn green and then turn back to amber. Um, this indicates um, that it is um, resetting correctly. Um, with the, the system management controller, everything has been reset. So if you press this power button here and it still hasn't turned on, um, that means there's something else that's wrong in here. There might be residual power that's somewhere in the memory or the logic board that we need to we need to drain out. So what I've done to do this, I hold down the shift, control, option, um, the power um, here, all at the same time. While doing that, look at this amber light. Once I let go, it's going to turn from amber to green and quickly disconnect. And then, and only then, would your computer automatically turn on. And that's how you do an extended system management controller reset. Uh, if all goes according to plan, uh, your computer should boot up automatically. Um, you know, you'll hear a chime and it'll start to power up. 